Skull Vaults and Catacombs is really our love letter to the idea of the old school fantasy dungeon crawl. Growing up reading fantasy novels and things like that, who doesn't like treasure? Who doesn't like loot? Who doesn't like exploring caverns and dungeons? For Cobalt and Catacombs, it gave me a chance to go back into that and use that as inspiration. Well, the kobolds, as we know them in World of Warcraft, are some of the smallest on the totem pole. They're not, they're not super smart. All they really want to do is dig. They are very resourceful. If there's danger, they dig. In their own special haphazard little way. That's just what they do, they dig. The kobolds are very protective of their candles. You should never take a kobold's candle. You don't take candles! The art team on Hearthstone is the biggest it's ever been. We have a full complement of artists ranging from 3D to effects to 2D artists as well. Really, it becomes a big team effort. As a concept artist on Hearthstone, we pretty much touch everything. In some of the early character concepts, we had to try to figure out, like, how do we do like a King Cobalt? Like, what makes this Cobalt special? He's a little bigger than the rest of the Cobalts. He's a little smarter. Instead of just having a candle on his head that he's trying to protect, he has a lantern on his head to protect his candle. Effects artists blow things up all day. In Cobalts and Catacombs, I did the majority of the collectible card effects, getting to animate King Togwaggle the decks actually popping up out of the deck slots and switching places and then dropping back in was tons of fun. There was such a big range of different kinds of like magic and effects to work on in this one. I think we get to bring a lot of life and character to the cards. There's a lot of new things in Cobalts and Catacombs for players to get excited about. We get things like spellstones, which are artifacts that evolve over time or after a certain set of criteria have been met. Our very first legendary weapons, and as with every set, there's a ton of new characters. So my favorite character in this expansion is the Lone Champion. So I was tasked with concepting this character, and I got a chance to actually take him to full card art. And you know, I figured, hey, this is a good chance to put myself in the game. So he actually looks kind of like me. I mean, slightly buffer, but kind of like me. One of my favorite characters from this set is the Carnivorous Cube, looking rather dour and sinister. It really has ended up becoming the Jello Mold from Hell. Speak smart talk, only speak web. Art and sound are really hand in hand throughout the entire process for Cobalts and Catacombs. Hearthstone is more like improv. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Super angry, make sure you bring it to the fight. I'm sorry, Mr. Soundman. I'm yelling again. Hearthstone's one of those games where when you get a chance to come in and play multiple characters, you get such a broad spectrum that if, as an actor, it's just kind of like a fun exercise to play across that spectrum. Hmm, a marvelous opportunity, mage. On Cobalt and Catacombs, they brought me in to sing the reveal trailer for it, which is unique. Uh, I don't get to sing very often for projects. You signed up the best. You're on a great quest to find the mighty mother load. A typical session with the Hearthstone team? <laughs> Feeling a little dizzy. It's a few lines, heightened character, and all play. Something wicked burrows here. The main thing I do for Hearthstone is the innkeeper. The Scottish dwarf. Everything he does is right here. It's almost like a yell the entire time. If you're lucky and they have the artwork done for the project, which they do for Hearthstone, um, you get to see the characters. They show you the artwork, usually on the screen in front of you. Of course, the people at Blizzard, their artwork is just amazing. For instance, the troll, she had a sort of a Jamaican vibe to her. She sounded a bit like this. She was a troll, but she had a good side to her as well. <laughs> Ultimately, it's really up to the player as to what they'll really appreciate most about this expansion. It's just exciting to see people get excited about something that you know, you've spent many long hours and many, many nights and days on and see them come to it for the very first time. Get ready for Hearthstone's next expansion. I love this set. It's awesome. The team is so excited about Cobalt and Catacombs. It takes us back to the roots of classic fantasy, full of monsters, treasures, and traps. Steal yourselves, adventurers. We're going in.
Ultimately, I'm excited about the vibe of the set as a whole, and it's one that I hope players will feel equally attracted to when they play their very first deck or when they play their 50th dungeon run. There's a lot of fun to be had down in the catacombs. It's Cobalt and Catacombs!